So welcome to our Suite 604 on the World Navigator as part of Atlas. Now, this is a B1 veranda. By the way, it is the same category that we were on earlier this year on the World Traveler. Now, there is very a lot of similarities, and you can look at that uh, tour, but we're going to highlight some of the things that are a little bit different about this cabin. Now, first of all, as you come into the, the room, uh, you have to remember, first of all, that this is a ship that only has 198 passengers max capacity. It's a small ship. So this is not a huge area uh, in the room, but it does feel spacious enough. Now, it is modern uh, design, but it isn't that contemporary kind of Swedish uh, design you are starting to see in a lot of other ships on other lines. When you come in, you do have a queen size bed. The mattress is a little firm. We're probably going to be asking for a mattress topper. Now, that queen size bed has two intake tables on either side. Both of those end tables have a small drawer. Now on the, uh, the end table to the right, you have some outlets. You have the foam, but you also have a 220 outlet and two USB ports. On the left side of the bed, you have a 220 outlet, but you do not have USB ports. Yeah. Now across from the bed, you do have a large screen TV. And below that, you have a small little shelf with recessed lighting. And here is where you're going to find your Bushnell binoculars so you can be able to see the sights as you're, well, in our case, going to Antarctica. Right next to the bed, you have the seating area. It's nicely divided with these room dividers. It's a little bit of a small area, but the chairs are pretty comfortable. Sometimes you will have a couch in this area, but in this case, this is two chairs with a table. It has a nice big window here that's part of the balcony. So on a particularly bad day, if you have bad weather, this will be a great place to look at the water. On the other side of the sitting area, you have a nice little desk that you can sit at. There's a nice little chair here. Um, they keep waters on the desk, st still or sparkling. And then you have the coffee maker and a teapot, which is nice if you don't feel like to go down to Paula's pantry. You also have a uh, refrigerator here that's stocked with beer and um, light soda drinks and stuff like that. And you can actually ask your steward to bring in things or take things out. I don't think that they do hard liquor here anymore or if they used to. And then off to the other side, you do have a, um, a power bank here where you have 110, 220, and you have USBs. We're going to start moving back towards the door. And the first thing you see as you're coming back is to the left, you have another set of outlets. You have two 220 and you have a 110 North American plugs. The problem as I see with this room here is in a matter of outlets is you only have two 110 outlets in the bedroom and the uh, living area. So that's easily remedied what i certainly recommend is go on and bring some one of those 2220s and those 110 uh, uh, converters and that will basically open up uh, the outlets you have now as you continue to move towards the front door you have your closet space you still have this curved closet here with lots of decent uh, hanging space so what is a game changer is what they've done with the double wardrobe now, one of the criticisms we had about the World Traveler was the fact that it had almost no place to put folded clothes. They have corrected that here. Now, you do not have as much hanging space in the left side of the double wardrobe, but you do have from top to bottom a series of shelves. That is absolutely a fantastic way to use that, especially since you have a lot of hanging space in this curved closet and in the, the uh, le right side portion of the double wardrobe, you do have hanging space, but this is a little bit shorter because you do have your safe and then you have two drawers. So to me, you have a lot more storage here. Oh, by the way, something we've noticed is usually we always put our uh, suitcases underneath the bed. Well, if you have a large suitcase, it's probably gonna be a little too big to be able to put it under the bed. That's also easy to fix. All you do is you open up your large suitcase and you open uh, you put it in that way. That's very easily so. Now, there's one other storage area you have, and that is all the way by the door, and it is where you have your life preservers. Life preservers, instead of being crammed up and taking a lot of storage space in your uh, closets, they actually have their own very narrow closet where you'll have your, uh, where they store your life preservers. One of the things that we really enjoyed about Atlas Ocean Voyages on our world traveler ship was the size of the bathroom. Again, this is an expedition ship, so you would think that things would be quite small, and we have been in very small bathrooms. This is not that. You walk in here and you have plenty of space to walk around. You have a vanity mirror, which is very well lit. You have one sink, and then you have storage above the toilet and underneath the sink. 
But what really makes this area so nice is the size of the shower. The shower is really, really pretty. Um, it's got beautiful marbling all around it and it has a shower, uh, a rainforest shower and then it has jets all around. So it makes for a really great way to warm up after you've been out looking at the penguins. All right, so this is a B1 veranda suite. So this is the veranda. Now, this is also in one of the places we see differences between here on the World Navigator and on the World Traveler. And it's not the size of the balcony. The balcony is side enough. It's actually pretty wide. It's about as uh, deep as you're gonna find on most other uh, uh, rooms of this uh, category. Uh, but what it really is a, well, it's a difference, but it's kind of a disappointing, is on the World Traveler, the seats actually were kind of wicker and there was a uh, cushion. Uh, these look pretty, well, generic, uh, not near as comfortable, but they're probably gonna work. Now, here's a, a good thing. We are going across the Drake Passage. We are gonna be in Antarctica. So quite frankly, on this particular cruise, I don't know how much time we're gonna have to be out here, but if you're doing somewhere else, like in the Med and everything, um, maybe I would want to have a little more comfortable uh, furniture out here. So that's our suite at 604 on Atlas's World Navigator. Watch this video to see the differences between the World Navigator and the World Traveler. And as always, keep on traveling.